Hello, this is Mayor Mike Inman coming to you from uh, Macomb City Hall. It's Friday, the 24th of April. Um, we uh, announced, and you should be aware, that we had a fifth case of confirmed case of uh, the, the coronavirus reported by the McDonough County Health Department this afternoon. Excuse me, actually this morning. The individual is um, uh, at home, <clears throat> recovering at home, and they have uh, no connections to the other four cases. So uh, what that kind of underscores is that this is um, being spread in the community with um, you know, no direct relationship to any of the other victims. It would indicate that it's doing, unfortunately, as we might have anticipated, and that's uh, spreading uh, outside uh, uh, to a greater extent. Um, and the health department is uh, conducting the contact tracing that is necessary to minimize the further uh, spread of the um, virus from this four, uh, excuse me, fifth victim. So uh, again, it just underscores where we're at with the, uh, not only the stay at home order, but the CDC guidelines regarding social distancing, washing of the hands, um, staying at home, minimizing your contacts with folks outside your household unit. Again, those things that we've uh, been encouraging, stressing, um, some of which are mandated by the current um, uh, governor's uh, stay at home order and that will continue even after May 1st, uh, as we discussed yesterday. Uh, th those all will still be in effect, even with some loosening of some of the economic side of the, uh, the uh, pandemic. We'd also like to remind the folks that are in charge of our schools, churches, commercial, industrial buildings, office buildings that have been, you know, put on hold where those buildings are not occupied or for whatever reason are not seeing the usage that they would normally see. Uh, there is uh, an encouragement from the, the water department here in Macomb, as well as the health department, that those folks who are in charge of maintaining those buildings should uh, probably go in, not should, probably, they should go in and uh, flush the both the hot and the cold water in those buildings to, so that the water doesn't get stagnant in those plumbing fixtures. And when they come back online, the, we'd want to make sure that we're not in, in um, inducing or somehow getting some other bacteria that has been in those lines. Water's being treated fine, that's not the issue, but when it's uh, stagnant in an interior plumbing, particularly in a larger building, there's a possibility that some contaminants could form. So just a reminder, it, and there's information on the city's website, you can go to the cityofmacomb.com and find information about how you can have a water quality management plan at these larger buildings. Again, this is not something you should be worried about in your home. Um, if you're getting normal usage in your home, that's not what we're talking about here. It's those buildings that have been um, essentially unoccupied for the last four or five, six weeks. We want those folks that are in charge of those buildings, again, churches, uh, schools, commercial buildings, industrial buildings, office buildings that are not seeing at all the usage they would normally see, just go through and, and uh, do a routine flushing of stools and both the hot and cold water taps and a couple of um, the interior spaces. And again, that information is available on the City of Macomb website. Encouraging uh, for the last several weeks the use of mask or facial coverings, and really facial coverings is what we really need to be using instead of masks so that we're not somehow giving the impression that we should be out there competing for those surgical masks, those types of masks that our healthcare providers and first responders need. And I want to encourage folks that as we uh, start getting closer to May 1st, where when you're in public uh, spaces where uh, either social distancing outdoors is not um, uh, uh, doable, or when you're inside in a public space, such as a grocery store or, uh, or any of those other essential buildings, the governor's indicated to be required to wear a mask. And some people are saying, well, where do I get them? How do I do that? Um, many of the last uh, several videos we've shared with you have given you websites where you can go. So we're going to share the McDonough County Health Department website because we had a nice conversation with uh, the administrative staff at the Health Department today and I want to share a couple of things with you. But there will be links on the Health Department's website, also on the CDC's website, about how you can make your own facial covering. And again, we're using that term mask and facial covering interchangeable, but it's really about providing protection for your face. And to that extent, if you're not skilled at um, crafts or if you're not skilled or have access to a sewing machine, you just simply need the use of a bandana. And there's a way, a technique that you can use to fold that. And so it's appropriate and does the same uh, type of uh, um, um, 
safety precautions that we're trying to encourage here. So there's really no need for you to go out and try to worry about buying a mask. If you want to do that, that's fine. Um, we've had several folks come online today that offering to sell those, and I think that's uh, wholly appropriate and good. But don't concern yourself about, well, I don't have a mask that has elastic behind it, or I don't have one that um, has ties. Again, a, a simple bandana, handkerchief, uh, T-shirt, um, there's guidance uh, both at the CDC and on the county health department about how you can do that and get the effective uh, use of those items the way you want. And here's, and here's part of the balance we're trying to strike here. The important thing is, is that we have people in the community that want to help, and that's very uh, much appreciated. But the idea of um, someone um, making for you um, a mask and then giving it to you, if they're not procedures followed to make sure that that was uh, cleaned appropriately before it was passed on to you, they could have un very unwittingly been a, a, a carrier of uh, the disease and now have contaminated the mask. Now, please keep in mind what I'm, the perspective of what I'm sharing here. If you've got family and friends that are willing to provide you with a mask, make you a mask, yeah, you should do that. Make sure you wash it first and before you use it. I'm not suggesting that, but again, <clears throat> there's a way to get what you need without being overly concerned about not having a sewing machine or access to crafts and things like that. Simple t-shirt, bandana, handkerchief, and that, that will meet the requirements for what you need and what you need to be compliant with what the governor's uh, saying is gonna be mandated effective May 1st. Also, I would like to remind our folks in the business community that uh, the president did sign a legislation today that includes some additional funding for small businesses as well as local hospitals to help uh, offset some of the, the issues with the, the pandemic. So we would remind you of the small business um, programs available uh, that the Spoon River College announced yesterday that it would help folks in the small business sector get information on, help them understand the process. And again, that information is appearing on your screen how to get that. It's um, next week and that information is available at the, the, the connection or the link here on the bottom of your your screen now. We'd also remind you that you could get a hold of the Office of Community Development here at City Hall and they can give you some guidance on that. I would tell you that those programs that were approved today, signed into law today by the president, are going to take a few days for that information to roll out, but uh, I think uh, the presumption would be a lot of that information would be similar as in the, as in the past uh, incentives and um, those stabilization programs, but ha having said that, um, please avail yourself of the opportunity to reach out and participate in the Spoon River College uh, programming that will occur next week. And then again, feel comfortable with reaching out to the Chamber of Commerce website. And that information is here at the screen now too. Or the Macomb Area Economic Development Corporation as well as uh, the CD, uh, Office of Community Development here at, at City Hall. A uh, little, little bit of information to share with you today. So um, uh, again, uh, like yesterday, a bit of uh, positive and a bit of uh, reassurance. Uh, but then again, reminding us of where we're at in the overall scheme here. So again, social distancing, essential trips, uh, stay at home, interact with members of your own household. Uh, again, um, some numbers came out from the state of the health department today, indicating again over uh, more than 2,000 additional cases reported today, 108 additional deaths um, statewide, almost 40,000 cases statewide, um, nearly um, 1,700 deaths statewide. Uh, again, I share that with you not to um, add a, a, a additional anxiety to you. I'm just wanting you to understand that uh, that's still occurring, even as we begin to look at, in the next week or so, relaxing some uh, of the opportunities to get into the economy. I would remind you, too, that even though those numbers are a little overwhelming, there is some light at the end of the tunnel and that that overall number where we're doubling the amount of cases that's occurring now about every 12 days, rather than the four, five, six, eight, and 10 days that had been past history. And believe it or not, that's a step in the right direction. Uh, the number of deaths, uh, even though they're, and in all honesty, our heart goes out, our, our sympathies, our thoughts, our prayers go out to those folks, wherever they are, that have lost loved ones in, in this pandemic. and want to make sure that we remember them as we think about our lives moving forward. But at the end of the day, those numbers are um, somewhat stabilizing as well. That does not 
in any way, shape, or form diminish the, the, the lives that have been lost. I'm trying to give you a perspective of what we're doing is, is working, and it's very important that we continue to do that. So to the best you can, enjoy this weekend. It sounds like it's gonna be a little mix of a little rain and a little sunshine. And I'm starting to notice, as many as you are, that the spring flowers are blossoming and they look beautiful. Went on a walk late last night with my son, and at every opportunity, he kept reminding me of how beautiful the flowers smelled. So again, try to keep things in perspective, and we'll be again in, in touch again soon. Thank you.